Good evening and welcome to the Cam Girl Real World Podcast, where you get inside the minds of your favorite cam girls and some of their most favorite fans. Tonight on the show, we have the most wonderful and magnificent Shay BBW, Miss Ellie Quintel, her wonderful man of the hour and day and year, Mr. Lucky. We have the bumbling idiot, which he is just going to say stuff and it's going to be ridiculous, and our special guest this week, Mr. Chagel, or Chuck, as some of us are going to call him tonight. I'm probably going to call him Chagel. And the silent man who's not going to say shit, but we might actually reiterate some of his stuff, is Mr. Wolf D. Shadow. He's going to be really quiet tonight. So, the first topic tonight, you guys, is uh, your favorite comment of the week. You saw in a chat room, it happened to you, maybe you saw it happen to somebody else. Shay. Um, my favorite comment, quote, I want to rent a house between your butt cheeks. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I told my wife about it and she said, as long as they pay rent. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Perfect response. I think I, I'm in love with that. I'll give you mine. It wasn't in your room, unfortunately. Chagel, you ignorant slut. <laughs> Somebody pulled out an old SNL reference on me. That is so fantastic. And you really are an ignorant slut, God damn It, it can be, yes. Yeah. Mine is, is a combination because everybody seems to think my room is, like, not mine. It really is. It's covered in Batman and bullshit. But it was a combination of, oh, look, it was, like, a quote from myself. And it was supposed to be, oh, look, I waste money on stupid shit. And are you in your eight-year-old brother's room? Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I, I sit in my eight-year-old brother's room and take off my clothes for you. I was definitely flattered that somebody thought I had an eight-year-old brother. And then I was like, this isn't stupid shit. Fuck you. So that was that was my week in a nutshell. Oh shit, Allie Watt. I did think of my very first uh you're really ugly as a female that I got this past week. What? Yeah. I was like, damn. <laughs> And it instantly wow. banned Wow. <laughs> well, yeah. Because you have to. <laughs> well, yeah. I feel like that really leads us into the best and worst user experiences, users and or experiences this week. I mean, I feel like we should start with the bad and then get to the good. Does anybody have like a worst user experience? Boys, it can be somebody else's room. Oh, bumbling. Oh, shit. Bumbling. I'm in this room and this guy all of a sudden gets very obsessed with her because she's not paying him the attention he once got and is calling me and Lucky both out for being poor, oh. um, saying that we should tip right in her room. Yeah, it was. it got really ridiculous. Bumbling and I have been helping out in her room, modding for one, getting her set up with a decent profile, and just giving her, you know, some of the, the basics as a new person there and have been trying to, you know, set her in a, in a good path. This dude just straight up didn't like the fact that she modded us and not him and has spent all week going in there trying to create havoc. But... We know what's up, and we've keyed her in, and she straight up banned him. Well, it's it's really nice to be being there, so I'm glad that that your your bad ended on a positive. Shay, what's your worst? I tend to get this all the time, but it's it's still my worst. Um, as everybody knows, I am a BBW model. Side note: If you don't like BBWs, then just don't go to their room. I tend to get Jabba the Hut, which is so fucked up. <laughs> like that's that's common. Oh, that's common. Jesus. Like, once a night. That's ridiculous. That is nut-punching material. And honestly, at this point, I start to wonder if it's the same person, because I'm like, somebody just said that 20 minutes ago. Did you come up with that all by yourself? Good job. Yeah. Round of applause for being an asshole. Are you sure they just don't want to be your Leia? <laughs> <laughs> That is a really good comeback. That would be the best comeback to use. If you don't like BBWs, why would you go in that room? You're going in there knowing that you're going to hate this model's body type. You're just going in to be a troll. And I think that's what pisses me off about a lot, especially the grays. No offense to the people that are gray that are good visitors, because they, they do exist, uh, but they usually become blues. The tendency of those grays that will never buy tokens is, I'm going to put these people down as much as I can. And it's and it's just, it drives me up the friggin' wall. And Chagel, you've been using Chatterbait for at least two years now. You know there are good-hearted people that use Chatterbait that just don't have money. 
Right. Yeah, absolutely. I've seen it both ends of the spectrum. So it's not just grays. I've even seen blues and purples be just completely, completely assholes. And I'm like, dude, you're paying your hard-earned money to this site and you're going to be like that? What's Shay? Tell me a story. I was just going to uh, interject that if you are a Kia model out there and you're listening to this, please understand that it does not matter how many tokens someone has given you. It does not matter if they are dark purple. If they are being rude to you, you have every right to ban them and silence them just because they've given you your money that does not give them an excuse to walk all over you. You don't need that kind of negativity in your life. Bumbling what's up? And something that's almost as bad, if not worse, is models who are pink and blue who come into other models' rooms and automatically start talking shit. Or the ones that are broadcast and they come to the room and they act like they're great who show tits. Oh, you're making me wet. Come to my camp. Like, you're a broadcaster. You should know better. We're going to get to poaching in a different podcast, I promise. We're going to have a whole topic on poaching, I swear. So I'm going to go ahead and get to my worst of the week because... This was really funny because this happened to me literally tonight before I got off cam. I had a very, um, he seemed like a really nice guy, um, uh, probably like early last week or whenever. He came in, he played Hangman. I've been running Hangman to supplement the Oh My Bod because I enjoy the Oh My Bod, but it's not as popular as we discussed in our previous podcast. He came in and he proceeded to go how much for a PM, so on and so forth. And then he comes in and starts to go, well, you know, I came in and I just wanted small tack and I was being sarcastic and you threatened to ban me. And I'm thinking, sorry, there's no sarcasm font. I can pull a pro- across sarcasm barely while speaking and you're typing. And he goes, well, I'm, I'm very, I'm very hypersensitive to things like saying I'm going to get banned. He said something like, I, I stay because you're hot. And I said, you shouldn't let somebody abuse you just because you're hot. And he goes, well, you should just ban me now. And I'm thinking, if you can't tolerate what goes on in my chat room, you should leave because bans only last one month. And he, he continued to kind of badger me a little bit. And so that was a, a little bit frustrating for me this week. Kind of people who were like, well, I can't, I don't have any self-control. Can you just take away my self-control? Well, no, I can't. We're all adults here, darling. So... So let's now, let's let's flip it and let's talk about the best thing that happened to you guys this week or the best thing you saw happen to their cam girls room this week. Anybody have any best shit they saw? Oh, Chagel's got something. I did see, and, and y'all are all going to hate this, I did see a 5K tip. Wow. Nice. One fat 5K tip. And she wasn't even wearing an Oma body. Well, we've discussed the oh my bods are going out of fashion. People don't trust them anymore. So right. I'm, I'm actually not terribly surprised. Ellie, anything, anything awesome? Anything at all? Kind of a quiet week. Any nice people? Anybody really friendly? I've had some really just decent people lately. Truth be told, like, I, nobody specific, just like really decent people, decent conversation. Nobody that I really had to ban other than the guy that said, you're an ugly female or ugly as a female. I know it's hard. Sometimes it's hard to remember the good ones over the bad ones because, you know, they, they say if you're doing it right, you're going to be forgotten. And that tends to happen a little bit. Shay, best thing. Well, uh, not this week um, because I have not been camming this week. I have been working specifically on cam girl real world things. Um, but people that take you private just to talk to you. Yes. That's one of my favorite things. Absolutely one of my favorite things. Are people with foot fetishes? I'm sorry. I love people with foot fetishes because I just want to stare at your socks. I'm not going to lie. When you're wearing a good pair of socks and a foot fetish comes in and just show me your feet. Hell yeah, bitch. I will show you my socked feet. Give you a good old fashioned show. Talk about my nice socks. What's up? <laughs> Foot fetishes are awesome uh, if you are into showing people your feet. There's nothing wrong with the foot fetish. It's not my thing, but there's nothing wrong with it. Hey, who doesn't love a good foot massage? And I personally like penis. So penis plus foot massage equals foot job. And that's like all combined, like no work. They do it for themselves. All right. So we are going to get to the hot topics of the week. This week, our first hot topic is furries. And we're bringing this up because um, a, a po- very popular cam girl on Chatterbait actually got banned this week for um, wearing animal ears, which I'm not going to lie. I- I've actually used. I've-, I've worn. I've got moving kitty cat ears I've worn on Chatterbait time and time again. It's so stupid. It tends to be the fox ears, though. So she was she perma banned? 
Mm-mm. No. Temporarily banned. Probably needed to apologize. Give a good, a good old-fashioned apology. You know, Chatterbait really likes the word. The word that you're never going to do it again because once you've given your word. I've known girls that have gotten to give their word a couple of times and still been okay and slid by. Um, usually for, unfortunately, drug use. Um, not like crack or anything. Usually it's weed. Usually you can get by with like a handshake and a smile and I promise I won't do it again. But I, I was really honestly surprised because there's nothing in the terms of service about the, the furry stuff. There is now. Now there is. Bumbling. Now they updated it. But about these air things, it says, it said it in a while, for a while that, that, that you couldn't use, but it's only fox ears for some reason. Fox ears and fox tails, specifically. Cat ears are fine. Cat tails are fine. It's specifically, for some reason, anything with fo- that looks like a fox. That's really, really interesting. It, and they say it's against uh, terms of bestiality for some reason. But you're a human. <laughs> Even a full furry suit. That's still not bestiality. That's a person. Cosplaying as whatever the fuck they could name an anime where there's a human, a fox hybrid, and, you know, right. it doesn't really come into play. Um, bumbling. I actually called them out on this today on Twitter. And what did you say? I told them, it's called cosplay, get with the times. <laughs> this is bullshit. Like, basically, just in all caps, called them out. Like, it's cosplay. I totally agree. I absolutely agree. And I think it's insane because I used to have two foxtail butt plugs and I've worn them on, I used to wear them on a fairly consistent basis. So it's kind of hilarious to me that this is something that while literally Shay sat and I sat and poured over the terms of service and looked and there was absolutely nothing against fox ears or fox tails. And now they're kind of slipping it in. It's it's just really, really interesting to me. Shay. Uh, the real question is, it also, the response that she received back was, and costumes. And I know the 31 Days of Cosplay is about to come up, so I'm really curious to see how that is going to play in. I think I've seen somebody wearing an animal hybrid, like a kitty cat or something costume. They've, they've won third place or something in it. So it's really interesting that they're they're being racists against Fox. They really don't like foxes bumbling. It has to do with that song, What Does the Fox Say? Instead of What Does the Fox Say, What Did the Fox Do? You no know, shit. What did the fox do? So that gets me to the next hot topic of the weekend, and that's getting banned, ladies. And I know bumbling is canned before, but I don't think bumbling's ever been banned. Um, have you ever been banned before? And and what was it for? Like, what was the period of time involved in getting banned? I I know. I've been banned for really erroneous things, having a link to um, my go get funding that was in my bio for like six months and somebody caught on to it and reported it. And once I, I was unfortunately, yes, I was drinking a beer on camera, like when within like two months of me starting on Chatterbait and I got banned and I apologize and I've never done it since pretty minor shit. Uh, you know, a handshake and a smile got me out of it. Shay, have you ever been banned? Uh, one time, and uh, it was because I was fairly new as well to Chatterbait. I was having a raffle, and one of the prizes was a Skype date, and I did get banned for that. The funny thing about the ban was it was immediately after my cum show. So whoever was going with Chatterbait and decided to ban me was apparently really enjoying my cum show. Let me finish, let me squirt, and then immediately my ban screen came up, which I found very, very funny. A bunch of <laughs> fucking perverts run chatterbait or else they'd work somewhere else ellie have you ever been banned yeah it was for a really short amount of time i had one of my friends who's also a cam girl she came to my house so we did a show together but she was not verified on my account she was verified herself on her own account didn't realize she had to be verified on mine also so they you know took the tips away and (laughs) they still let us continue to broadcast like while everything was going on but yeah, that was fun. <laughs> They'll take your nickels, but they will fuck you over and not tell you. <laughs> Bumbling. Have you seen a girl get banned? I've never been banned, but I have gotten people banned. You you know what, Bumbling? It's your hobby is getting people kicked the fuck off of... They were all sleepers. One of them was a couple. I was asleep on the floor, cuddling. All right, so if you guys are unaware of what sleepers are, sleepers are people who literally, like, set up their camera and then fall the fuck asleep. There are people that, like, will legitimately tie their junk up. And I mean men. There's an old man who does it every fucking night. Ties his dick up in, like, chopsticks to a fucking gurney and, like, on his roof. And there's, like, a cat attached. (laughs) And that man falls asleep every single night. And he is back the next fucking 
day. I just love this guy. I don't know what it is. I go in his room every time he's on. I fucking follow him, but I just love to watch that little nugget sleep. (laughs) You're so weird. He's my new hero. I'm going to tell you, I'll be honest. You know, I I don't have a problem with the sleepers. That's just me. I I don't think anybody should be banned for that. But the ones I have problems with and, and would probably go out of my way are the ones that are promising certain goals and not fulfilling those promises. Mm -hmm. I will report them because we've all contributed to a promised goal. And then it's just, okay, see you guys later. Says the man who comes in, dumps a thousand tokens in my room and then goes, I want nothing for it. Don't apply it to the goal because fuck the grays. You do that. I I give you money because (laughs) I love you. I know. It's just funny. I give other girls money because I I feel bad for wanking it to them without giving them some money. Oh, that's why we love you. Has anybody ever seen anybody get legitimately in the middle of a show just get like banned and like shut off? Yes. Only the ones that aren't uh, currently taking tips yet. The the exhibitionists, I see them get banned all the friggin' time because they get too many people and they're taking traffic away from the girls that are trying to make money. I've never seen that. That's really interesting. Cheddarbait actually does that. That's really interesting that they will actually like kind of prohibit the amount of activity you can get when you are an exhibitionist. Lucky, oh shit, Lucky is going to get his first words in. I I have been around for (laughs) banning a couple of the sleepers we've been privy to as you're watching all of a sudden, boom, they're down. You pretty much know that they've been banned, which is like, oh wow, cool, it actually works. Because on that note, I want to go to the other side of it is I've been in rooms that absolutely should be banned like this very second and (laughs) had numerous of you along with me. And for hours, that cam is still up. And we're not talking about falling asleep on cam. We're talking about the major side of the terms of service that are being violated. And absolutely drugs. (laughs) drugs, Big um, drugs. Bodily fluids. Incest. Yeah. I mean, numerous things, like all at once on the list. Pool balls. (laughs) Pool balls in the anus. Whipped cream cans in the anus. The Great American Challenge. What's wrong with that? Hey. It's over the size of a Coke can. Wolf, who cannot speak, I know, he's been actually following this couple um, for the past week, and there's a, this group of people has been camming, and they've been saying that they spoke to support, and support told them they could drink on cam, but because they have an 18-year-old, the 18-year-old can't drink on cam, but 19, excuse me, the 19-year-old can't drink on cam, but apparently she's still drinking on camera for whatever reason they're still not getting banned even though they're in public saying we're the only people who are allowed to drink on camera which we all know chatterbait drinking is completely against the terms of service as the same as is using drugs and it should be a bannable offense but this group of people and i know that shay and i have both gone in and tried to ban these people and they're just not getting banned and so it's, it's it can be really really frustrating when there's somebody you really are just like what in the absolute fuck are you doing with your life that's against the terms of service and there's just nothing happening to them shaby another thing that really pisses me off about the banning situation is you know there are activities that i may want to engage in on camera but it seems like other models would go to do it nothing happens to them they do it on a regular basis for example fisting i see models fisting all of the time that is a bannable offense in the united states it is under the obscenity act almost impossible to even get it in porn let alone on a cam site And um, yet I see models fisting all the time, but I know the moment I even say the word, Chatterbait is going to shut my ass down. Bumbling. I wish I would make it to where you could ban people who are faking throw my bots on cam. (laughs) Like screenshot faking. Report for abuse. Don't we fucking all. Like what Chagel said, I really wish there was an accountability where if you are not able to be held accountable for what you're doing on camera, there should be some sort of neighborhood watch. Like, I don't want to say we want to bully this person, but if there's enough people going, you really need to watch this camera, at least some support person should come and be like, that's not an oh my god, no. Like, you're, it's blinking, it's not doing what the manual says it needs to be doing, or or they should be doing a, you know, a fuck show and they're like bye i just reached a goal and a half peace out yeah for a while i was like the vigilante of that going into rooms where they weren't working and just calling them out right then and there in all caps you took me with you on that ride and i got banned so many times i stopped going on that fucking ride i got banned too See, I'm of I'm kind of of two minds about the oh my bod, the faking. Uh, because while from one side, yes, I think the faking 
it's kind of shitty. It's like, why fake it? Just go ahead and do the real thing. But if the guys and, and girls going into the rooms know, chances are that she's faking it. But they're okay with it, then I'm okay with them being okay with it. Me, personally, I find it funny. The ones that fake it just go over the fucking top. But, you know, if, if they're going to fake it and the audience plays along, it's kind of like watching a magic show. You know the magic's not real. You're playing along with the gag. It looks cool. It looks fun. You got your entertainment out of it. So I'm, I kind of see both sides of it well see and i we actually last week we did the oh my bod thing and i i totally like i that was kind of i played devil's advocate and i was like well there are people that they're really into fucking with the girls that fake it and they will i've had dudes pay me tokens to go into other girls rooms and watch them tip this girl that's faking because it's just so absolutely hilarious to them i want to hit on our amazon wish list they mean a lot to us it's you know it's not tokens it can't pay rent but if we need something if we need a piece of furniture or anything like that shay how, how do you feel about the amazon wish list is it do you love it do you like getting something in the mail the Amazon gift cards, like, do you do you do anything for them? Do you just appreciate them? Like, how do you feel about them? Um, I absolutely love it. I have it set up so that I do not know when someone sends me a gift. So it just comes in the mail. And I'm like, oh my gosh, so-and-so got me this gift. Anything that anybody buys off my wish list, depending on how much it is, they get a, a prize for that, usually of their choosing. And I'm pretty good at haggling, you know, and making sure that they get a fair deal. As far as the gift cards go, absolutely, that's a another thing that is really big. You are not then paying Chatterbait, you know, your money is going straight to the model. It's 100%. And you never know when, you know, maybe you need a household item or maybe you ran out of paper towels or something like that. You know, you can always use the Amazon gift cards to purchase something like that. So even if Chatterbait, because they only pay every two weeks. So sometimes those Amazon gift cards can really help you get through that time. So please, please check out people's A, wishes that they have and B, um, send them gift cards. Ellie, do you have an Amazon wish list and do you like it to be gifted towards or gift carded towards? Do you do anything for users that, that do that for you? I do not have a wish list currently because um, two bad experiences with the same person. So I just um, got rid of it. I have it set up so that I can take Amazon gift cards, but I don't accept them as payment technically. So I've told people if you want to get me something you know, an Amazon gift card and wish me to buy something specific. Yes, I will do something special for you. But no, I will not take it in lieu of tokens to do, you know, pussy play or whatever the whatever the case is. See, and I'm the same way. Like if you buy me if you buy me a toy, like a dildo or whatever, like I'll usually give you one free cum show or if it's nipple clamps, I'll wear it for five minutes. Like whatever it is, like usually I'll just think for it unless say I need a piece of furniture and it's like holy shit, when I needed my futon, it was like, I will do stuff for futon money. But it's very, it's a very rare occurrence that I will do something for Amazon gift cards because it does not pay my rent. Right. Boys, gentlemen, legendary men of my chat room who I love. Have you guys ever bought girls gift cards and like had a weird experience with it? Or do you, do you shy away from that completely? I've never bought anybody gift cards, but I should give you a gift card because of my Bing stuff. That's now gone because I got banned from using that. But that's what you get for banning people all the time, bumbling. They got back at you. That's right. Karma. It was before that. It's reverse karma. <laughs> Karma, pre-karma, reverse karma. But yeah, I I haven't bought anybody anything. Jiggle, I don't know if you've ever used Amazon. Have you ever sent anybody anything on Amazon or thought about it even? Um, yes. <laughs> um, I haven't done the gift cards. I've I have bought wish list items. The non-nude cam girl that I was modeling or modeling modding for a while back, I actually had her add stuff to hers for her apartment. Every time she went on cam, she wanted to move her couch. So I got her some furniture sliders to make her camming easier. Aww. So uh, yes, I have bought things off of Amazon, bought things off of off another website and send it to one of my favorite models. It was big and green and she never fucking uses it. It's your green screen. <laughs> Oh, no, I tried. Oh, my God. I feel like such a dick. No, I, yeah, I've i actually used it. It fell down and it broke a piece of my artwork. Oh, shit. It's really sad. I was trying to stream on Twitch that day. I didn't really. It's literally the length of my wall and actually 
exceeds into my door. Yeah, it's pretty big. And literally, Scott opened the door and it bumped a piece of my artwork and knocked it off the fucking wall. So I believe me, if if I ever like do shit in my living room, I promise I'll use it. But holy fuck. Fuck, I tried to use it. I was like super excited and I was unfolding it and I was like, I'm breaking all of the things. It was fucking ridiculous. <laughs> I got her this really awesome fold up green and blue screen. Which it's the kind where you have to like twist it and no math. And it was really not awesome when I tried to put it back in. I was like, this is just going to live out for the rest of its life until I like <laughs> had to do some calculus, which I did not take in high school. Mine is permanently unfolded. <laughs> okay, then I don't feel so bad about the situation. So we're going to do something funny now, and this is something that Shane and I thought would be kind of fun to do, and so we're calling it the pick three, and we we chose three random words, and they correlate to three random websites, and we're, we want you guys to vote basically on the best word that you like the most, and then we're going to tell you what happens from there. So our three words this week are koalas, corgis and corn dogs. Give your first honest answer which one you like the most and something funny is going to happen. Koalas, corn dogs, or corgis. I never heard that last word before. You never heard of a corn dog? A corgi is a short, fat, long dog. My answer is corgis. Koala. Koala. Corn dog. <laughs> and Wolf, I know nobody can hear you, but you still gotta pick one. Corgis. All right, so Shay, you're the tiebreaker. I have seen all of them. For this podcast, I am going to tie break with Corgi. Corgi, I want everybody to go ahead, open up a browser in your computer, and I want you to type in the URL Corgi. Orgy.com. And if you don't know how to spell that, it's C O R I O R G Y.com. And just take a look. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. <laughs> it's coming across. <laughs> God, I'm scared. Oh, no, there's another one. If you don't love it, you can't be our friend. Ah, oh, my eyes hurt. Okay, I can only take so much of that. There's too many of them it's hurting my eyes. Like a 3D, like looking at one of those 3D. You can only look at it for so long. It burns your retinas out, but it'll give you a goddamn smile. Once the third one started coming on the screen, it was okay. Time to go. <laughs> God, that song was awful. <laughs> oh, you loved it. So we're going to end today's podcast. We want to give a special request out to... All the fans listening out there, we are currently doing the quest for questions. We really want you guys to send in your questions for us, your favorite cam girls, any questions you have, even if it's for one of the mods. I mean, Wolf D, Bumbling, and Chagel are our three modders. So is Lucky. I keep reading about Lucky because today he's not on a separate screen. You know, if you have any questions for the mods, for the cam girls, we'd love to answer them. It's the quest for questions. We would greatly appreciate any any weird, random, try to make them not too sick questions shay um and you can either tweet those to the model you can dm those to the model or you can send them to camgirlrealworld at gmail.com or you can also visit our website camgirlrealworld.com and use the form if you would like to be anonymous and we would greatly appreciate that because it will help us continue to produce fresh content for you. Thank you guys so much for joining us this evening for the Cam Girl Real World podcast. Join us again soon. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 See you later.